Hi everybody and welcome to Biofilm Minutes, a video series by Alvin, where we deal with biofilm monitoring technologies, meant expressly for the optimization of cleaning and sanitation treatments. In today's episode, we will discuss commonly employed bacterial detection techniques and how they compare with innovative Alvin biofilm monitoring technologies. Indeed, Alvim approach is different from common bacterial detection techniques. These can either be aimed to free-floating bacteria or bacterial growth on surfaces. They can either offer quantitative, qualitative or both kinds of information. They can either be applied online or offline and in the second case they can be employed in the lab or in the field. Alvim sensors instead are fully specific for biofilm and they can detect biofilm with high sensitivity and with a non-line, real-time approach. Well, there are hundreds of available bacterial detection techniques when it comes to liquid analysis. Most of them require to sample water first. Well, among these, common methods are based, for example, on microscopy, which can be combined with staining techniques, for example, to distinguish between live and dead microorganisms. And then there are many other techniques, such as flow cytometry. Well, these techniques are generally time and money consuming, characterized by a need of expensive equipment and dedicated personnel. While well, most importantly, these do not provide any information on the layer of bacteria which forms on surfaces in contact with the liquid, a biological phenomenon known as biofilm, which is the main indicator of the real microbial risk, since 90% of bacteria live in biofilm and not free in the liquid. Well, please follow the link to view our video, What is Biofilm? But now let's talk about biofilm detection techniques. These generally require to access the line and swab the internal surface of pipes to collect a sample of biofilm. This sample can be subject to indirect methods of analysis. And this means that a correlation of biofilm presence with, for example, dry mass, total organic carbon, total proteins and others is made. Of course, it is not comfortable to directly access the line to be informed about biofilm presence, but in any case, indirect methods can detect biofilm as well as many other kinds of deposit, and thus cannot furnish a representative indication. On the contrary, online biofilm detection techniques are also available. These methods can be based on direct methods such as electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, vibrational or acoustic techniques, optical methods, thermal sensors and many others. But unfortunately, despite all claims, also these methods cannot be considered as specific for biofilm and they are generally strongly interfered by the presence of other kinds of deposits. Alvin technology instead is fully specific for biofilm, which is detected since its earliest phase and with high sensitivity. If you'd like to find out more about the advantages offered by Alvin biofilm monitoring technologies and also many more details on common bacterial detection techniques, please follow the link indicated at the top right corner of this slide to read our full white paper. And if you missed our previous episodes of Biofilm Minutes, don't forget you can always find them at our LinkedIn page, on our YouTube channel or at the link indicated here. For any further interest related to Alvin Biofilm Monitoring Technologies, please visit our website or don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for your kind attention and don't forget to save some more Biofilm Minutes for next episodes. Bye!